Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made these fun little lemon zest treat holders that hold a little box of lemon heads that I found at my local Dollar Tree. So let me set these aside and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you'll need is a piece of lovely lipstick cardstock. This measures two and a quarter inches by seven inches, and I'm going to set the seven inch length along the top of my scoreboard. I'm going to score this at a half inch and then again at one and one eighth, two and three quarters, and three and three eighths, and I'm ready to set my scoreboard aside. At this point you'll want to take your bone folder and you'll want to score on each one of these score lines to make the fold nice and sharp. Okay, and at this point I can show you where the little box goes. It's simple like that and we're going to decorate these two surfaces. So the first piece that I've got here measures one and three eighths by two inches and we're going to add a little adhesive on the back of this and place this piece on the top. And then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add the second piece that measures one and three eighths by two inches on this larger area on the back side. Okay, now I'm ready to adhere this part of the box and place my candy inside. So I'm going to add some snail along that top flap. Take one of my lemon head candies and wrap it around there and then I'm going to make sure I line up the edges and adhere and I can slide my candy out at this point to use my bone folder and burnish that. And now we're ready to decorate. I'm going to be using one of my favorite sets, the Lemon Zest and its coordinating punch. I'm going to be using the Pineapple Punch for the lemons since it's nice and bright and the Call Me Clover for the leaves. I'm going to bring my images over here and I am going to stamp onto Whisper White, first with the lemon and then with the lemon slice. And I'm going to take a small piece of paper here and stamp two of my leaves onto it using the Call Me Clover. And once I've got that done, I'm going to take my tuxedo and my sentiments and I am going to stamp my sentiment onto my lemons. There we go and I'm ready to punch them out. I'm going to take my lemon builder punch here and slide the cardstock in and punch out the lemon. And then I'm going to punch out these two leaves using the builder punch and I'm going to start here on the far end so that I don't end up punching the leaf out with the other side. There we go. And I'm going to use a one and three quarter inch circle punch for my lemon wedge. And of course if your cardstock is small you can use a post-it note as a handle before you punch. Okay, so I have my parts and I'm ready to start adhering. So I am going to take a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to lay it on the top here to put my first leaf on. I'm putting one on top and then the second one I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive and simply place it behind the lemon. And I am ready to adhere these lemons onto my box at this point. So I'm going to add my first lemon up here if life gives you lemons and then I'm going to add this other lemon here and I'm putting the adhesive on the bottom section so that I can just adhere it here to the box and you can slide it over as you'd like and there we go. Allow it to dry and your treat is complete. So let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.